Guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about a Cubal Apex. This is an example which I have just completed in this video, and <clears throat> you can see how I have created and how to execute, where to check the status, and everything. So, just keep watching. In the meantime, before we jump into this example, let's go ahead and see what is Cubal Apex. So, basically, with a couple of slides, we'll run through quickly and jump into the example. So, keep watching. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Cubal Apex. So let's see what is Cubal Apex. So uh, it's nothing but as the name itself suggests, you can queue the Apex job. So but what kind of jobs you want to, what kind of Apex you want to queue. So basically, you know, if, you, if, if your Apex class is a long running and you have, it has extensive database operation and it may have multiple web service callouts, which can be you know, very time consuming and you want to run it asynchronously. So those kind of jobs, you can add a queuable interface to those classes and add it to the Apex job queue. So that's about the queuable Apex. So and what are the advantages of queuable Apex is, you know, the first thing is chaining. So you can chain one job to another. It means you can create dependency from one job to another. Basically, it's called parent job and child job. And at any point of time, you can have only one child. So it doesn't mean that you can have a multiple dependency, but it's like you create one child and uh, to that child you can create another child and there is no limit of how many of them you can create that so that's basically you know the chaining of the jobs and using of non-primitive types so if you remember you know um, even the add feature annotation methods are also asynchronous and they can there you cannot use the non-primitive data types such as as objects and the custom apex types but in this cubal apex you can use them and one more the last one is you know getting the id of your job when you submit your job to the queue you can get the id of that job so using that id you can monitor its progress and how you submit you use the system dot in queue method to submit to the apex job queue and these are the some of the points to remember in terms of queue apex so it does it you know since it's asynchronous process and it doesn't mean it doesn't have any limit but it still have asynchronous apex method limits i mean garner limits and you can have a maximum of 50 jobs in the queue uh, when you're scheduling with system.nq job in a single transaction so not beyond that and also using the limit.cubal jobs you can check how many cubal jobs have been added in one transaction and there, as i said there's no limit in person depth of the change job so you can keep on adding you know child job to one to the other and there is no limit on how many, what is the depth of a ch depth of that chain job. And you can only add one job from executing job with system.nq. Like, you know, you can execute, you know, using the system.nq job, you can only nq only one job. So in, in that job, you can have another child object to be queued in that, you know, you can plan your Apex method in such a way that it can be recursive child if based on your need you can put some if condition based on that you can you know change the job recursively something like that so but ultimately using system.nq job we can only queue one job and what is the syntax so it's similar to the schedule level only so it has an execute method and you have account creating a new account and inserting here and here you know if you want to call any other method of any apex class which may not be queuable so you can just remove these two lines within the execute method and add it here and you can call that add it to the job apex job queue which will run as asynchronous apex so how do you call this job so the here as we discussed system.nq job this is how you call it using system.nq job and async new async execute example i think uh, I have to change it to cubal example and name is mismatch so uh, I'll correct that so this is how you sync it basically it will be like cubal example what is the name of the cubal class that will come here new instance of cubal example so this is how you enqueue the job so that's all for this and now that we have understood what is cubal apex let's go ahead and create one with an example so let's go to apex it's just like how you create other classes go to apex classes and create a new apex class and i have an example cubal apex class already ready with me and i'm 
pasting it here so as you can see I'm using implement skewable and basically what I'm doing is I have added a constructor method also here I'll be using this method by passing the account list as an argument and then execute method with updating the description saying subscribe to Salesforce Bits channel so let me save it uh, there is no error so it's all good now that we have saved or created a queuable apex let's go ahead and submit the queuable apex so how you can do it you can call it from any apex <coughs> any other apex like you know uh, submitting the job using the system.nq method but in this example i'm going to do it in uh, anonymous window okay so let me copy the one calling so yeah here it is so here what I'm doing is taking all the accounts ID name description and you know enqueuing the account cubable example let me check if the name is right account cubable example yeah so it make sure the name of the Cubal Apex is same. So account list is nothing but list of the account which you are querying here. So let's go ahead and enqueue this job. Okay. Let's see in the so this is the job ID which has been scheduled successfully. And uh, let's go ahead and see um, in the jobs if it has been scheduled. So scheduled job my new schedule sorry this is a cubal apex it's not there it's completed so let's see it is that yeah see account cubal example so this has been queued and it has been completed so what we can do now is go to workbench and see what we have done what we were doing in that code is updated the description field or not so what i have to do is we have to go query select description name from account object and see what is basically we are updating it to all the accounts description subscribe to salesforce page so this is about cubal apex hope you have understood it if you had a if you have any doubt please do comment on this video i'll respond i'll reply to your queries so thank you for watching till now have a good day bye bye